Hey, welcome to my session. Make it run, it's technical. Make it applicable, is know-how. What does we mean about that? In my session I'd like to explain you what makes a big difference for such a device. How can you get the most out of it and what's important for you when you're designing your own products or if you are looking for products to buy for your application, what's relevant and I'd like to give you some ideas some tips uh, in my session. Yeah, let's start directly in it. Especially for lower one, we have some limitations with uh, limited energy and uh, really reduced bandwidth. You need to have uh, application know-how to make uh, edge computing in the device itself. So it means you can't use really a dump device. You need some uh, intelligence at the device itself to get most out of it. And to do that, it's really important to understand your application and you have to specially optimize the, how the device works for certain applications. Understanding the full cost of ownership is the, the thing you have to look at because the installation is important. Can you do an easy installation? Is it possible, for example, if you have uh, radio performance uh, issues to connect an external antenna? Um, is a device long term available? Can you rebuy it even in five or ten years? Uh, is the quality of the device fine? Do you get application support from the manufacturer? Um, and is the support in my region? So, can I speak my uh, model language? And there are for sure many more you have to take into account. But exactly these combinations are pretty important to get most out of any device. Now, after my short intro, let's jump over into uh, concrete examples. Let's uh, take the cheapest tracker example out, I just mentioned before. Um, what makes a big difference? Uh, for example, for different applications, the functionality is quite different. For some application, only the position is interesting after a movement. In some application, it's interesting during the movement. And uh, on, on other applications, uh, you have a, I need a combination of the uh, vibration sensor, for example, to count uh, machine hours, and that makes a big difference out of it. And to calculate cheapest position, uh, you know that it takes a lot of energy, and you have to really think of it, do I need, really need to do that now or not, or can I combine maybe a Wi-Fi positioning, cheapest positioning to always get uh, as less energy for my position with the accuracy I needed for my application. Another application example is an office button. Uh, what is important for an office button It's, for example the installation itself. It should be very small and that means the device has a really small battery inside and I need to really more think about how to use the energy of my battery, how can I get the most out of for my application. We have three different uh, profiles uh, defined in the button and you can select over Lora one download for which application I use my office button. The next example is, is a simple device which has mainly eight digital inputs. With that device uh, we thought a lot about our application we like to target and the clue is uh, we have four of them can be used as output. And with that combination, eight inputs, four of them can be used as outputs, we get really the most out of it. An example is, for example, uh, if you use the eight inputs for impulse counting applications, like to read out meter data with a S0 interface, which is standardized on the market, uh, you can simply count of it and send the data to the cloud. That's how a lot of general device workers. But for a meter application, you see uh, from all devices at the same time what the usage was and you can compare it at the same time. That's really important in the water market that you see if I have some losses uh, at some places and I can really measure at the same time. For that I need a special function for the time synchronization and we build it uh, in the device and it's really a main function for this application. Another example is with that device we can do control and monitors of actors. Uh, for example, if you have a simple door um, which open and close, you have a motor in it, 
and you can directly control over LoRaWAN. But then you have the problem, all my message is not clear at which time they go down to my device and I cannot really control the, the application for it. So we built an application now in it and a small embedded application which runs on the device itself. So you can say uh, open hours I like to have and how the device should react and I only have to send then over LoRaWAN open my door and I get back if there is a fault uh, or if it works perfectly. And in the same uh, matter, we can use the device for pumps. You can switch on and off. We have a counting how many times we switch on and off and what was the hour we had the device was working on it. The same for simple valves I use in the water field. I, I can open and close it over LoRaWAN and I can set a time uh, which the device measures from the open to the close position. And as long as the device acts in that uh, set uh, values, uh, there is everything okay and the device sends always back everything fine. If it's out of time, then I get the fault back and I have to think of it uh, and go for the to check the valve itself. With the same device, we have uh, you can do, for example, a mast switch monitor. There are many infrastructure um, in the energy market with some uh, power masts and you have to monitor if they are switched on or off and it's a pretty a safety function that you have always the right position of the switch or is it really closed, is it really open or is the switch in a, in a between position. And for that uh, we thought a lot of about the application and we have a special kit for it to add on the device which are all mechanical parts inside so you can just install exactly for that application. Another application with the same device is for object protection facilities. We have a special profile in it uh, programmed. We have a lot of public infrastructure and if the people like to go for it to make some maintenance, they have to open the door and they have a certain time to switch off the uh, detection monitor. And if that's not happened, we see there is a not allowed entrance at the, the power station, for example, and then we get some alarm. If we switch on by the key switch, then there is no alarm and everything is fine. Uh, another thing we saw in the practice is, uh, especially for passive infrared sensors to detect motion, they flutter a lot. So it means if you have some dust for, before it, you have a lot of uh, enabling and disabling. And if you will send for every thing a simple lower one message, you will overload the network itself. So it means we have some times in it. So if we see that switch on, then it's deactivated for a certain time and we always accept a new detection only after that time to reduce the, the costs uh, for the energy for the transmission of it. What's other important is we can use this device for the transfer in the power grid. And we have a lot of deep uh, know-how of the applications, how they should work and what's important to detect for that applications. Uh, we can use the same device as short circuit monitor and for that it's really important to see at which time the short circuit monitor is switched on and we can compare with other um, switches at which, which stage the first switch off was. The short circuit itself we need a read back of them. Today they are simple switches and I need a call from the customer that there is no power at it and uh, that's a big thing we see for the future in the energy field. Comtech, our company which I work, we have over 30 years of experience and uh, we design many devices so we saw over 350 projects in that time and that makes really the difference uh, out of it and that's our knowledge is really our main thing we have to support you for different applications. So thank you very much for your time. Um, if you have any questions or we can help you, just let me know. Uh, you see my contact details in the, the presentation here and I'm happy to hear from you. Thank you.